I'm Ashley Stone. I am the Kramer Preschool Principal. I went from high school to preschool, so it, it was a big change. Um, I think it helps that I have kids this age group at home, um, so it wasn't very shocking to me the things I deal with here. They come to see me for a lot of different reasons. Sometimes they just come with me, come with their teacher to tell me hi, or sometimes they're having a rough day in class and I just think it's important to walk through with kids that might be in here that are having a rougher time, why they're in here, what could you do instead of what you were doing. And at this level, I think it's important to say, doesn't it make your mom or dad sad? <laughs> like, don't you think that make them sad? So um, making it so it's not a trip to the principal's office and it can be a positive one. Because when I walk through the cafeteria or into classrooms, kids know me and that was my biggest thing is when I started here, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna have that. And so to know I have that feels really good because I was, I want kids to know me. I wanna be a positive in their lives and I, I think that's important. It's really funny because I've seen some kids out in public. Um, I was at Hobby Lobby and I saw a kid there and he was, I was like, hey. <laughs> and he's like, hi. So like, there was that connection and he walked, they walked away and his, his mom was like, who was that? And he goes, she's a teacher at my school. And so like, they're recognizing me and so that was fun. <laughs> oh my, what happened to your hair today? It's windy out there. We joke around here, we say stay alive because some days are hard with kids and emotions and it's really hard for our little kids to come in every day and control those emotions when they're maybe in their first structured setting and have no idea how to regulate their emotions. So my expectations are be committed to your kids for their learning, their safety, um, because you are that safe place here for those for some of our kids and I think that's important to remember that um, some of our harder kids might have a reason why things are harder for them and some of our best kids we don't know what they go home to either and so I think making sure there's a good balance in between that and just knowing that you are your student's person every single day who they come to see. everybody coming to work being committed to serve our students at whatever capacity that looks like we got off on a really interesting start here so honestly any way this school year ends i'm going to be probably pretty happy with just because we started kind of in a rush kind of not knowing what to expect all of our staff in one building which has never happened just a lot of new things happened this year and it caused a lot of stress and sometimes at times chaos and August and September were really, really rough, in my opinion. But I think as the months go on, people just show up every day with a good attitude. And I think if we continue to do that, we're presenting a good attitude for our students and that's gonna trickle down to them and they're gonna wanna have a good attitude and do all of the things that they know is gonna help that. So yeah, I think if we just keep on keeping on, I think we'll, I think we'll end well. <laughs>